In this video, I'm going to show you how to graph ordered pairs on a coordinate grid. First, we're going to label some vocabulary along the coordinate grid. So first, we're going to look at the horizontal number line on the bottom of the grid, and this is called the x-axis. Next, we're going to look at the vertical line that is on the left side of the grid. That is called the y-axis. And then we're going to look at where the x-axis and the y-axis intercept at point zero, 00, and this is called the origin. Now we're going to look at the different points that are graphed on the coordinate grid and we're going to write an ordered pair for them. The ordered pair is two numbers, each representing the distance from the origin along the x-axis and the y-axis. The first number in the ordered pair is the distance along the x-axis. To get to point B, we're going to travel 10 units right along the x-axis and 6 units up. So the ordered pair for point B is 10, 6. To get to point D on the coordinate grid, we're going to start at the origin and move 3 units right along the x-axis and 8 units up. So the ordered pair is 3, 8. To get to point F, we're going to start at the origin and go 7 units right along the x-axis. Because the point is on the x-axis, the y-coordinate is 0. So the ordered pair is 7, 0. And finally, to get to point H, start at the origin and move 5 units right along the x-axis and 1 unit up. So the ordered pair is 5, 1. Next, we're going to take an ordered pair and plot it on a coordinate grid. We're going to start with point A and the ordered pair is 9, 3. So we're going to start at the origin and move 9 units right along the x-axis and 3 units up along the y-axis. Drag point A over to this intersection and it may be a little bit difficult to line it up exactly perfectly on where the lines intersect. So my tip is to go up to the zoom feature and zoom in at 200% and this helps to line up your point more accurately. When you're finished, make sure you go back and zoom out to where it fits the screen. You may have an X and Y axis where the numbers are in intervals of two. For example, the ordered pair for the grocery store is 9, 6. In order to graph this, we're going to have to put the point along the X axis between 8 and 10 and up the Y axis at 6. Because this grid is a little bit smaller, I suggest zooming in at 200% and you may need to scroll a little bit to be able to see the lines and the numbers on the X and Y axis. So make sure that the grocery store is in between the two lines of 8 and 10 so that it's at 9 and it's up 6. And then don't forget to zoom back out. After you've graphed the remaining points, you can then answer the questions on the next slide. The first question asks you to describe how you would graph the location of the gym in question number three. You can go back to the previous slide to look at the ordered pair and where you graphed it. So remember that to get to the gym, we're going to start at the origin, move 20 units right along the x-axis, and 18 units up. To find out how many units you'd have to walk to get from the grocery store to the gym, you want to go back to the coordinate grid and you can count how many units you're going to move along the x-axis and then also along the y-axis. So to get from the grocery store to the gym, we're going to move one unit to get to 10, and then we're going to move 10 more units to get to 20. So that's a total of 11 units along the x-axis. Next, we're going to move up along the y-axis from 6 to 18. This is a total of 12 units. So the 11 units along the x-axis plus the 12 units along the y-axis is a total of 23 units. And finally, I'm going to show you how to graph data from a table onto a coordinate grid. The table on this slide shows the number of miles run on specific days. So the days are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. On the first day, four miles were run, so we're going to create an ordered pair in which the day is the x-coordinate and the miles run is the y-coordinate. So the ordered pair is 1, 4. On day 2, the ordered pair is 2, 7. On day 3, the ordered pair is 3, 2. On day 4, the ordered pair is 4, 3. And on day 5, the ordered pair is 5, 5. This means that on the fifth day, the person ran 5 miles. On the next slide, we're going to graph those ordered pairs, and we'll start by labeling the x-axis and the y-axis. So the x-axis, we're going to put the word day to represent which day from the table it is, and then the y-axis is going to represent the miles run. I'm going to record the ordered pairs from the previous slide next to each of the points. So we're going to start with day one, then day two, three, four, and five in order. We'll start by graphing the ordered pair for day one. That's one, four. So we're going to take the red point and start at the origin, move one unit to the right along the x-axis and four units up. Don't forget that if the slides are too small for you, you can zoom in by going up to the zoom in tool. I like 200% and then you can adjust it. Don't forget to zoom out before you move on. 
You'll do the same thing for each of the remaining points, and at the end, you'll have the data from the table graphed on the coordinate grid.